This has been a while, so I don't know how good I will be at doing this. Um, but yeah, this video is going to be about making a book and how I went about making a book. Now I just have, this isn't a push for the book, the book is sold out, but I did make a book. Here it is, Terrorism. Um, this one's all wrapped up and sealed because it's my copy. Um, at some point I'll probably go and grab one, which is my mum's copy she bought, that I can open up. But it's about how I made this and how I got to the point of having a book which is just full of my work that I'm happy of, happy with, sorry, and would like actively share with you guys. So, I kind of narrowed it down into like three sections of how I got to this point. Obviously the first one is making the work. So being out, photographing, creating a body of work. Now there doesn't, like for my book, there wasn't a marker, like a mindset of this is a project. This is just like almost a portfolio of my best landscape work from the last three years. Um, and it, so it wasn't made for the book. However, I do know people that do that. Like they have a project which is specifically for like a book. Uh, but that wasn't the case. Um, for me, I have done that in the past though, so here is like, this is a zine version of it, but I had a zine and book last year about, not last year, maybe two years ago, called Iceland Negative, um, which was when I went to shoot Iceland, I was, I was in Iceland for like a month, it was my third time being there as well, um, and I just shot the entire time there on film, which I hadn't seen many people shoot Iceland on film at the time, so I was like, oh, I can make a little project behind it. So the, obviously the cover is the negatives. It's quite personal to me, this, as well, uh, because one of the trips I did with my girlfriend at the time. So there's images of, like, her in there. It holds a lot of memory to me, um, which is something I learned from and made sure I didn't have in the new book. But this is kind of like a practice run, almost. Like, at the time, it wasn't. There is photographs in here, actually, which are in my book. Um, like these, for example, of the ice, which you might have seen. They're actually in the book, the new book, um, as well. But yeah, practicing, so I did a little practice book. But as I just said, at the time, this wasn't a practice. This was like me making something with the purpose of selling, which is kind of probably quite a big point. It, like, you're making a book, like, like, for me personally as well, I made the book to sell, like, it was a product, um, that was the mindset with it, it was like a, a product, yeah, so I wanted to make sure it was sellable to people, and I thought a lot about the colours and how I would want it to look on people's tables and coffee tables, things like that, so that kind of influenced the design aspect and things like that. Um, and then actually making the book, after obviously I'd spent three years photographing it, the actual process of creating the book was maybe nine months from like start to finish. Um, but it is a long process and it's, it's like nine months of doing stuff like every other day for it basically. So I was dedicating a lot of time to it. Um, it was something that was always on my mind. Um, but yeah, get into it, there's like basically two steps which really helped me in like forming the book. Um, the first one was I printed off, so I, um, I don't even know what to say. I like narrowed down my entire body of work for the last four years of landscapes which I would be happy to have in a book to like three, four hundred images, that's as, like, as low as I could get it myself. Um, and then I printed them all off really cheaply. I think these are like 2p per print from some like place in the UK that does like cheap prints. So they're awful quality, but I printed them all off. And then what I did was I would just sit through them, separate them into piles of like book, not book worthy, like unsure. 
Um, because there's stuff like I really like, images I really like, which I just... I didn't think they'd fit the book, but I really liked them. So they'd probably go in that file. And then... That, like, the unsure pile, I'd go through that again, but this time it'd be yes and no. And I'd end up with a stack of, like, images, which I thought would be good for the book. But then I realised, like, I don't know. That's my opinion of what I would like in it, but I'm not the one that's going to be reading it or looking at it. Uh, the book isn't for me, it's for you guys. Like, it's a product for you, so it doesn't really matter what I think of it. Um, in terms of like what I think would be good in it, it's more what do I think you guys would like. So the best way to sort that was I gave this pile of prints, this is only half of it, the other half is in this like book which we'll get on to next, but I gave that stack of images to um, my friends, like the stuff like this which I'd have liked in the book but it just was rejected every time. Um, to like different friends, um, so you have stuff like that, which didn't make it in there. Some ski stuff, which didn't make it in there. Like some people are quite surprised, like what didn't like get in the book. Um, but yeah, I gave the stack to mates. I called them like trusted eyes. Um, it was like twenty people roughly, so ten photographers, ten non-photographers, and they do the same exercise I did and sort them into piles and after like 20 people have done it who are photographers and not the same images kept getting put in the yes pile so they were the ones that had then actually made it into the book and it was actually really interesting because people who are not photographers the yes pile for the book was like huge whereas the um, yes pile from my friends who are photographers was really really quite small um, I think one person did it and there was like 30 images in the yes pile for a book and I was like, I can't, can't make a book with that. So, after seeing what other people wanted in there, we got to um, kind of the final selection which is what is in the book. And then because I'm quite a visual person and in terms of layout as well, so I laid it all out on the dining table. I think I've got a clip of that so I can put that in here, but I laid it all out on the dining table, sequenced it roughly. And then went out and bought a notepad, which I then sequenced it in. So here's the front, <laughs> here's the front cover, and then you can see this is. Can you see that? If I just move slightly, this is the book in order out of the prints that were selected to go in there. So what you're seeing here is actually what went to print. Basically the same layout, everything. Um, and this just really helped me to visualise the actual physical um, the physical product. Um, and also a sense of like turning the page. Um, I didn't want it to feel like you turn the page and this image might not make sense being there. So it was very like if I'm turning this page, does this image make sense to be there? Because the work is so spread from so many different areas. Um, I was trying to avoid doing like trip by trip and also just mashing it together. So um, some pages you'll be like the Italian Alps, the next page you're in the um, French Alps, but they link together quite well. Um, in terms of colour palette or just mood and how it makes you feel when when you look at it. Now I'm going to stop here now and go and grab the final book because um, there is one downstairs just to kind of flick through um, it with you and just talk about the design as well, that's the last part um, so I'd be like, well how do I stop this? How do I stop this? I will be, I mean for you guys like a cut Wow, I just had the craziest phone call in that like three seconds right downstairs. Uh, my best friend has just had a baby, which is crazy. Um, wow, and that's put, like, not put me off, that's horrific to say. Lost my train of thought. It's just a baby, what the hell? Um, I'm so happy for him. This, sorry though, so this is the book. Here you go, look. This is my mum's copy. It's not very fancy because 
It's been through a lot. This is also, it's my mum's copy, but it's also the copy which has been probably handled the most. Um, this was the first copy I opened and gave it to my mum. And you can see some of the design elements here. So it's got like the little shine to it, which is actually textured as well. It's hardback, nice and like decent thickness to it as well. Um, and then the print quality inside the book. As, as well, it's just insane. Like no bleed through, no nothing on the pages. The colours came out perfectly. Um, I was very impressed with like how how the colours rendered um, on the print because it is interesting. Sometimes, like when you get stuff printed, the colours just change so much. But yeah, this is what the final thing looked like. I'm honestly so proud and happy with it, which is very rare for me, but like, I can look at this and think, like, I don't even see it as mine, which is crazy, um, but it is. Um, in terms of the design, I just actually, de like, I designed this in my head when I was driving into Leeds one day and then went to one of the local coffee shops and basically just scribbled it onto a serviette they had there. And then, when I finished work, got home, I, really, I made a really, like, horrific Photoshop mock-up of it. I think it might have even been Canva, you know. So, like, an horrific thing of this. I'll probably, I'll put the original designs on here so you can kind of see the process. But, yeah, and then my friend, Josh, um, he is, like, a graphic designer, a really talented guy. Um, I'm kind of like lucky just to have these people in my like circle so like pitched the idea to him and he was happy to like help me design it and after like a few back and forth of tweaking it we got the final design done uh, and yeah literally it was sending the files off for print approving sorry approving the files approving the copy and then I went to Italy with my friends for like a week and to Amalfi, and then I came home, and I was, again, I was greeted to like seven boxes of a book. Um, I had a hundred units made, and with the pre-order and the launch and things like that, they all sold out um, within a month, which is pretty good going, I think, to get through a hundred units in that amount of time. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of things that have come out of this book in terms of like I had my first solo exhibition which coincided with the book launch which was insane um, there's something else which is coming out of this books which I'm probably gonna have a video on later in the year because that is super exciting um, and yeah so that is how I made my book from like practicing old like old copies um, basically they are the same size, I've only just realised that now. Maybe that's like a size that I like, but I don't know. Um, obviously it's way slimmer. Um, so like the visual side and how I visualise it, and then how people help me make it. Um, yeah. That's how I made my book. In as brief way as possible. If you do have any questions on like the company I used, um, just DM me or something like that. Um, it's a company in the UK that I used for it. Um, so if you are from not, from not, not from the UK, you might not be able to use them. But yeah, um, ending YouTube videos is always awkward. I'm gonna try and do some more. I'm pretty sure I said that in the last YouTube video I did, which was like ten months ago now, and here we are. So do not hold me to it. I will catch you guys in the next one. How do I turn this off? Okay, bye.